Hello everyone! What is up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. This video will be another review that absolutely no one asked for. However, I had a lot of fun doing the last one and I thought it went over pretty well. And um, regarding the subject of this particular video, the Baboon to the Moon mini go bag. This is not an ad. I purchased this with my own money. I really wanted to try it out and I thought I would let you guys know what I thought about it. I had been waiting to do a review until after I had actually taken a trip with it on an aeroplane, which I have now done. So without any further ado, let's get into this review. I purchased this with my own money. This is the Go Bag Mini. The Go Bag does come in three different sizes. The Mini, which is 32 liters, the Small, which is 40 liters, and the Large, which is 60 liters. So this is the Mini, which is 32 liters. They tout this as being your personal item, whereas they tout the 40 liter as being a carry-on and the 60 liter as being a checked bag which I think that's pretty accurate. We'll get into the sizing of this in a little bit and whether or not it can actually fit under an airplane seat as you would expect from a personal item bag. Uh, at the time of this recording, these bags, the mini size in particular, will run for 159 US dollars for one of the standard colorways. And if you get one of the special edition colorways, it can be $169 or slightly different slightly more slightly less i'm not quite sure so this size the mini they advertise as being able to fit one to three days worth of clothes which i think is an accurate assumption as i said i'll get into sizing a bit more later but yeah let's talk about first the features of this bag it has a waterproof shell which I have not strictly tested in the rain, but uh, it advertises that if the bag gets dirty, you can simply wipe it off with a wet cloth, which I have done. My kitty was walking on it with her kitty litter toes. And for some reason, got little kitty litter mess all over it. So I was able to easily clean it and it worked just fine. It has one main compartment in the middle and within that, main compartment there is one rather large zipper pocket right on the inside of the flap and there are two smaller pockets on each end one has a zipper and one is just elastic and open this go bag mini has two straps that you can use to wear it as a backpack or you can loosen one and wear it as a duffel I've noticed one difference in doing a little bit of research that I think the small and the large size have these straps are detachable, like completely detachable. However, on the mini one, it looks like they're permanently sewed on, which for me is fine. I feel like that adds some extra security and sturdiness, but maybe that's something to consider if one of the aspects that you're looking at is versatility and you want to be able to take off the straps. That might be something to consider. With this mini, you cannot take off the straps. But I was specifically looking for a backpack, which is what this essentially is, and it worked perfectly for that. As a plus size person, it is important to me to have long enough straps that can, you know, fit on my biati. I know a lot of people worry about the same thing. The straps on this, they're very adjustable. They are very long. I think right now this is not their longest extension, but there we go. They fit really well on me. I'm a plus size person. I'm not the biggest plus size person, but I'm not, you know, small. I I don't know how to describe myself. I think I'm bigger than mid-size, but I would maybe call myself small fat. I don't know. But I, I have run into backpacks with straps that were not long enough to accommodate me. I'm also like six foot tall and you know, I am a large human, I would say. And these straps, I think, worked really well. If you wanted to wear it as a duffel or maybe across yourself, they extend even further. Or if you just need a little bit extra extension on your straps, they can accommodate that. Like, I don't know if you can see, this is, I think, max extension. If you wanted to wear it as like a 
a duffel or something, you could easily do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. It feels like they're very easy to adjust. This, um, I don't know if you saw, this little bit just kind of pulls out and then it has this little clip here that just kind of slides on to the little, what do you call this, access point things and it felt very secure i when i was walking through the airport both airports i didn't feel like any slipping or anything felt very secure i noticed they also have these little i don't know what you call them tabs on the buckles where i think you could also clip something if you wanted to maybe if you had one of those little like a coin purse or something you could clip on there and then the straps also have a couple little like spots where you could clip something again like if you had a little coin purse or like a little mini bag where you would keep like your money or something you could easily do that it's got a very sturdy feeling carry handle on three sides one on each end so i guess you could carry it long ways any which way that you would want to plus one on the long side where the main flap opens there it, oh dang it there's one on all four sides i did not realize that i thought there wasn't one on this side but there is there's a very sturdy carry handle on all four sides so essentially you can carry this pretty much however you want like a suitcase like a backpack like a duffel there is one small exterior pocket which doesn't fit a ton but you could fit your phone in there or your passport or your boarding passes I've been keeping these little um, travel door locks in there just because if I keep them in this bag permanently forever then I won't lose them when I need them to go on a trip. It has, if you can see, along the outer, I guess, perimeter, it has a lot of these attachment points where I've stuck a carabiner on here. I stuck this on here because I thought it would be handy to have a carabiner if maybe this is like a heavy duty like climbing one can this can hold a good amount of weight so i thought it would be handy to have one on there in case maybe i needed to hang the bag or needed to just get it off the floor or if while i'm walking through the airport i want to clip another little bag to this bag to just kind of make my life easier or maybe clip i could clip my jacket or something also the zippers have an actual dedicated locking mechanism which is common on a lot of travel bags which so if you wanted like a combination tsa lock or something you could easily do that you can very easily lock this bag just first impressions when i originally got it and i opened it it does feel very sturdy and secure and i kind of came to expect that i don't know if you maybe saw my other review on the baboon to the moon mini backpack but i also thought the construction on that one was very well done very secure very solid little mini backpack so going into this bag i expected that and i was not disappointed this feels very solid i feel like i could fill this up and just throw it around and it would survive very easily the seams seem very sturdy, there's no loose threads, and it just feels solid. So if you go a lot of rough and tumble places, this might be a good option to consider for you because it does feel very sturdy. So let's talk about capacity. This mini go bag, they tout this as being the personal item size. You should be able to stick this under the seat in front of you on an airplane and you should not run into any trouble and i did test that and uh surprisingly it worked so for a little context i travel with spirit a lot because i go to vegas a lot to visit my family and they are often the cheapest option they have pretty strict requirements for their personal item size they will charge a lot of money for uh, a carry-on to get around that and fly as cheaply as possible i will just fly with a personal item and a fanny pack that's my little hack um, which works out great for me because when I stay with my family, I'm usually able to do laundry there. So even if I'm staying for longer than one to three days, usually I stay for about a week, I'm able to just do laundry halfway through and that gets me through my trip just fine. As for capacity, 
the website advertises this bag as being able to hold one to three days worth of clothes, which I think is accurate. I think that's very accurate. I was able to fit three days of clothes with extra underwear and socks and a variety of other small things, including my camera equipment, my iPad, um, my toiletry kit, uh, an extra pair of slippers, <laughs> uh, and some other small technological things. And it all honestly fit perfectly. I didn't have any trouble closing the bag. Even though it was pretty stuffed, I was able to close it pretty easily. Um, obviously, as you would expect with any full suitcase, it was pretty heavy. But I think the padding on these straps, which is very thick and very sturdy, it did a good job of mitigating that discomfort from a very heavy bag. I think with any heavy bag, if you have it just loaded full of stuff, you're going to feel that weight on your shoulders and your back. And I don't think there's any backpack in the world that can completely eliminate any discomfort from a very heavy bag but I think this did a very good job of lessening these these straps are very wide and they have kind of like a almost a gelish kind of cushiony thing it's very springy and very soft and comfortable for the size the size of this bag is let me get the exact dimensions from their website this bag is advertised as holding 32 liters, um, it is 9.5 inches high, 18.5 inches wide, and 12 inches deep, which is very close to the Spirit Airlines personal item size requirements. It is actually about an inch longer than, it, than what is permissible, however, I didn't have any issues. I didn't have any problems sticking this under an airplane seat. And I think altogether it kind of evens out to their personal item size. I should say I have flown a lot with Spirit with just a personal item and I have never been size checked. That's not to say that someone else hasn't been size checked and, you know, run into a more strict airline personnel I guess essentially do this at your own risk, but I think this, the size of this mini go bag is close enough that I don't feel like I will run into any problems just using this as a personal bag. I've flown with backpacks that are bigger than this. Uh, I flew with a, like a 40 liter backpack and didn't have any issues, was able to fit it under the seat and didn't have a problem. The only time that I personally have seen someone bag checked was if you have more than two bags or I guess more than one bag and a fanny pack then you might get size checked or stopped at the gate but I am always very careful to travel with nothing but just one bag and my fanny pack which I wear around my waist. That is my travel hack for if you are trying to travel with just a personal item. A fanny pack is going to be your best friend because if you are wearing it around your waist as it was intended, it's technically considered apparel and not another bag. So it technically doesn't count. It's also handy because you can wear it around your waist while in the airplane seat and it's kind of good to have easy access to like your airpods or your earbuds or your phone or something if you need to access your entertainment while on the flight and if i can go on a tangent for just a little bit i wanted to talk about the two fanny packs that i usually fly with the one i did most recently was this one that i just got from amazon i think it's just um a generic fanny pack but i like it because it has a ton of pockets it has a ton of space i was able to fit my whole water bottle which on a flight is so important to me because i i get dehydrated so easily so i need to have a water bottle with me i was able to fit a whole bunch of stuff i love this one in particular because it has a hugely long strap so great for if you are a plus size person with a big belly or you just like a lot of space like me. I have a bit of a challenge wearing a fanny pack as kind of a crossbody just because I am plus size but this one is so big the strap is so long that I can just so comfortably wear it as like a crossbody as like a little sling so this one I can link below this one is great for travel honestly and it's cute it's like it's not so utilitarian looking that like it has flowers you could take it if you were going someplace nicer I think you could get away with it and as a purse and you wouldn't you know get any weird looks this one 
incidentally comes with a rain cover like attached like you can't lose it because it's attached which I think is sick if you're going somewhere in the winter or someplace rainy and you want to make sure you have some protection for your items rain cover built in that's so awesome the second fanny pack that I will travel with is one I actually have four different colorways of this exact fanny pack it's the Burton Slayton 18 liter fanny pack. Um, and if you want a more in-depth review of this fanny pack later, let me know. I'm happy to do one because I love this so much. I bought it four different times in four different colors. But the reason that I love this fanny pack, especially for travel, especially if you're just trying to travel with a personal item, is because this thing is huge. It fits, uh, well, it says 18 liters, but I think that's because it also has a built-in packable backpack it has a full-on backpack inside so this bag on its own is great for travel so i can get into that later in a different video if you would like to hear it i love this thing but for this purpose this is great as a fanny pack for one bag personal item travel because this thing is huge the fanny pack by itself is humongous i can fit my entire everyday carry purse in this with some room to spare it's awesome and plus it has this added bonus of having the fold away backpack that when you're you know traveling you're going out and about and you need a like an extra little backpack it's so clutch plus this thing is so comfortable anyway i could just go on and on about this but as i've said yeah a fanny pack is your best friend for when you're traveling with a personal item because for me I will just have my backpack I'll have my fanny pack and I'll usually have like my jacket in my hand which you know no one's ever gonna clock you for having a jacket in your hand and then I'm good to go I've so far knock on wood never been stopped at a gate never had to have my bag sized that's not to say that that wouldn't happen if you run into someone who is a bit more strict about the rules but all in all, the this mini go bag, I think, is close enough to your personal item size that you shouldn't really, I'm pretty confident that you shouldn't run into any issues, hopefully. I mean, don't come for me if you do. It's not my fault. I did say, you know, travel at your own risk using this. If you're very paranoid about it, you might want to find something that's a little, you know, that's that's definitely within the the size requirements for a spirit or whatever airline you're flying personal item but i think you should be fine with this i guess just to close things out let me give you my overall impressions of this bag did i enjoy using it absolutely i thought it was great i i purchased this because i'd been eyeing it for a while i get these advertisements all the time as i'm sure maybe you do too if you're watching this you're probably curious about it because you get advertisements for it a lot i did too so i found it on sale over the summer they were doing a really big sale there were like four colorways that i don't know if they're discontinued or they're temporarily discontinued but they were on a, a steep discount so I purchased this I honestly don't remember what I bought it for but it was very discounted which is why I jumped on it I purchased it because I had been curious about it for a while and I thought it would be perfect because I do travel a lot to Vegas and other places um, with just a personal item so I had been kind of wanting like a, a dedicated like sturdy bag that I can just kind of keep at the ready and and I have been very happy with it honestly do I think it's worth the full price of $159 probably yes it would be an investment if you travel a lot and you are really looking for like a really good solid duffel bag backpack type travel you know bag if you're on the search for something like that and you are okay investing $159, I think it's a good solid investment and I think it is worth it. If you don't necessarily need something so rugged or if you don't travel quite as often, I think you could get away with just using a regular backpack that you already have or, you know, something cheaper. But if you, if you like the color, if you want a statement piece, or if you are 
a big traveler and you want something very robust, I think go for it. It is a lot of money, to be honest. $159 for the standard or $169 for one of the limited editions is a lot of money and that's understandable. I'm not gonna, you know, be out here telling you to spend all that money, but I think it's worth it. I did it. Um, I would say if you are very interested in this bag, just keep an eye on the brand and they run sales, you know, from time to time. They right now I think are doing a Black Friday sale and they, you know, just keep an eye out for a sale and maybe like I did, you might find one for a lot cheaper. And I think they also do offer um, Afterpay or one of the services where you can pay in installments, which is pretty handy. I haven't tried the small size or the large size. I don't think that I would necessarily because I'm happy with this one and if I'm going somewhere where I'm able to take a carry-on, I have another suitcase that has wheels. I don't think I would need anything besides this. This and, you know, my other suitcase. I don't think you need to buy multiples of these or anything. But hey, I'm not going to stop you from living your dreams. So if you want the whole set, get the whole set. If you can afford it and you want the colors, go for it. I'm not going to tell you no. Um, <laughs> I think that's a pretty comprehensive review of this bag. Overall, yeah, I would recommend it if you're a big traveler, if you, um, if you go someplace that has a lot of weather activity or you find yourself outdoors a lot and you kind of need this protection of a solid, sturdy, waterproof bag, I think go for it. So I think that concludes this review of the Baboon to the Moon Mini Go Bag. Um, I hope you found this information helpful as well as some of my tiny little travel hacks helpful. If you did enjoy this video, please consider liking. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I know that my channel is kind of a hodgepodge of things. I do some reviews from time to time. I am a musician. I release my music on here. I once upon a time was a Twitch streamer, so I may do that again in the future if you want to catch some recordings of a Twitch stream now and then. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your year and a great new year. Great. Bye.